What's happening fellas? Crazy Brit here with some more commentary from the Infinity GT fan manufacturer series. This time, round two, uh, the feature race up first, 40 minute race from Alsace Village. Uh, this uh, championship is sponsored by Sparkle Sheffield and We Are Driven. Uh, check them out on Facebook, Instagram, all the good stuff. Uh, let's get back into, uh, let's get to the grid and see how they line up for race two. We have had some uh, new entries, a uh, bit of a reshuffle with teams as well. Uh, as you see, lining up in first on the medium tyres is uh, Seamus, now in the Ferrari. Second is Caesar in the Aston Martin, he's on the soft tyres. Starting up in third is Gwydion, he's on the mediums. In fourth is Tux, he's on the mediums. 5th place is Kiwi, he's on the mediums. 6th is Fiona, she's in a Mustang and uh, she's on the mediums. Next up is Full Killer, he's also on the mediums. Jordi Boy lines up in 8th, he's on the mediums. 9th is uh, Seamus' teammate Pilgrim, now in the Ferrari, he's on the uh, soft tyres. Then we've got Chalky lined up in 10th, new entry up in, uh, in the Merc uh, Mercedes. He's on the mediums. His teammate lines up in 11th. He's also on the mediums. Then we've got the uh, couple of entries that should have been here last week. Missed last week, unfortunately. But uh, we've got uh, Aldo. He's on the mediums. Then we have lined up in 13th is Tricky Tree. He's also on the mediums. And last but not least is Magenta Fez. And she's on the mediums as well. So then let's exit this and let's uh, get this race underway. Let's see who's going to get down to turn one in first. Who's going to get off the line cleanly, and uh, are we going to have any uh, any contact or any crashes going to turn one? So wait for the green lights to go out then. And away we go. It's a clean start from everybody. Full killer gets a bit of a uh, a slow start there, but everyone's away cleanly. As we into turn one, Sheamus has got quite a lead now, leading from Caesar and Gwydion. Everyone, as we go through from the pack, there's a bit of reshuffling from everyone, but everyone gets a clean start. Tricky Tree up into 10th now from the back. 11 is Aldo. Fiona down to 12th now. She got a bit of a bad start there. Magenta Fez trying to get a pass on the full killer there. Full killer on the inside. As we head back up to the start, uh, to the uh, front, sorry. Shame is still leading the way from Caesar. Gwydion's there in third place. Now got Pilgrim on the inside. Pilgrim gets third place from him. As we enter the next right-hander, little kink on the left. Uh, kink on the right, sorry. Little dip. Pilgrim goes around the outside of Gwydion, gets that place from him secured. Someone's got their indicators going there. Must be a little bit of a warning. Pilgrim now following Caesar. Oh, a little bit of a contact there, a little bit of a drift. Nice save from Caesar there, still holds on to that second place. Gwydion there, trying to avoid. He does a little bit of a drift as well. As they're now, they go into the bank turn for the first time. Long corner here. Car often washes out, as you can see, most of the car's going a little bit wide there. As we head down the field. Tricky Tree still in, uh, down to 11th now. But he's still on the back of the pack. Got his windscreen wipers going. Must be raining where he is. As they're all falling status quo. Full killer now in 12. Fiona down to 13th. Little bit of a drift there. Getting precariously close to the edge. Magenta Fence following through in 14th. Slow Seamus now. Got a sizable lead up in first. Caesar still in second. Trying to defend from Pilgrim. Pilgrim trying to attack. Does anybody touch the wall? Gwydion's really close to the wall there. Doesn't quite hit it though. That's good. If you hit that wall, you're going to stop dead. And get lots of damage there. As you can see, Slow Seamus now still leading the way. From Caesar in second. Pilgrim all over the back of him. Trying to get a second place from him and follow his teammate. Then we've got Jardy Boy in fourth. He's trying to defend from Gwydion. Trying to catch up to the back of Pilgrim. Gwydion now got Aldo all over the back of him. Aldo's pretty quick. Over the past current seasons, he's raced and he's got a few wins in the GTTCC. A few wins in Infinite Decals uh, Series, I believe. 
Uh, so he's definitely uh, looking for a good finish here today. Behind him he's got Tux. Uh, Aldo's just got past uh, Gwydion, sorry. There's Tux behind him in the Toyota Supra. Their tyres should be good, so hope uh, maybe they're opting for a one-stop around here. As he's trying to get past Gwydion now, does he do it? He's on the inside line for the next little right kink as they head into the left. Little hairpin that it falls away from him as you break into the corner, so you've got to be really careful. Does he get the switch back over him? He does. Gwydion's on the outside. He gets the move done, though. So Tuck's up into sixth place. Gwydion down to seventh now. Tricky tree now going to try and get past Gwydion. Can he do it on the outside of the corner? He's got Kiwi on the inside. Oh, they touch. Tricky tree is off into the grass. Oh, unfortunate contact there. As I said, the cars wash out, you get understeer there, and that's probably what happened. Uh, Kiwi, unfortunately, doesn't wait for him. Uh, hopefully everything uh, post-race conversation between them two will be okay. Uh, as we head back to the pack. You can see Pilgrim now into the lead. But Jordi Boy is here. Jordi Boy gets up into first now. He's going to try and defend for his life. He's followed by his teammate Caesar, who's now up into second. TJ Aldo now into third as well. They've passed both Ferraris. Pilgrim down uh, down into fourth. Yeah, oh, a little bit of a contact between him and Aldo there. Aldo managed to regain the car. Flashes his lights at Pilgrim. He's not happy. Not happy after that contact. Uh, Post race conversation between them two might be getting a bit heated, but Slow Shame is now back up into fourth because that little bit of contact you can see the Merc going wide there a little bit onto the grass. Gwydion now up into fifth. Aldo down to sixth. He's going to want to regain composure and try and get back up to the start, uh, up to the top of the field. Kiwi now in seventh. Chalky in eighth. Followed by his, his teammate Dominators going to the inside. There's a little bit of touch between teammates there. What is it about Mercedes drivers always wanting to contact each other? Ninth place is Chalky. Tucks now down into 10th. And Tricky Tree in 11th. Let's uh, see if he can regain his composure. He's got a purple sector there, so uh, should be able to get back up to the top, uh, up to the front of the grid, you would have thought. Uh, full killer now, 12th. Now uh, losing ground to these uh, top guys. Fiona now in 13th. And Magenta Fez in 14th. Top. Top, uh, top kudos to these uh, the Mustang drivers uh, just running their own race trying to stick it out, get decent points experience, obviously new to the Infinity GT series uh, and the first two females in the uh, Infinity GT series anyway, back up the front Caesar is now set in purple sectors he's in the lead, Pilgrim in second Jolly Boy now down to third there must have been a little bit of an issue or mistake there uh, Seamus now into fourth, uh, down to fourth, sorry, from the first first spot. Yeah, he had a, such a great lap, all come apart in the uh, following few laps though. Uh, Aldo now back up to fifth place, he's chasing down Seamus. Gwydion now down back to six. Then you've got Dominator and Kiwi's past Chalky now, so the Toyotas are between a Mercedes sandwich. But here comes Tricky Tree, he's, on the, uh, he's in tenth place now, trying to get past uh, Chalky. Followed by Tux in 12th. Can he get a pass onto the uh, in the uh, first turn here? He's just going to follow around. Tries to go around the outside. Follows the Toyota Supra. He's behind Kiwi who made that contact on the bank turn. The lap before. He's pushing Chalky up the hill. Gets the pass done on Kiwi. Now up into ninth. He's on the inside line for the next corner. Can he get past Chalky? He does. He's now into 8th place. Guess that moved on, but here comes Chalky on the inside line. Oh, does he go wide? Oh, he goes wide. Tricky Tree is able to get the uh, <coughs> able to get the crossover there. Gets back up into eighth place. He's now going to try and catch up uh, to uh, Chalky's teammate Dominator, who's in seventh. He's a bit of a no man's land here. He's got a bit of a gap in front of him, a bit of a gap behind him. Oh, he goes wide on the grass. Oh, gets it wrong. Managed to kind of save the car, but now that's going to uh, that's going to uh, default him on the next corner. Can he get the line though? He's, he's lost the momentum because of that little slide there. He's still doing good though. As Tricky Tree tries to go around the outside of him, is he going to go around the outside? 
He tries it. Chalky comes out wide in front of him. Can he get him into the next corner, into the tight right hairpin? You've got to be careful on the brakes here and careful where you turn. Don't turn too early. You're going to go straight into the barrier there. Does he get the better line out of this corner? He's got it. It looks like he's got it. We're going to go around the left kink now here. But here comes Chalky, the other team, mate, because these are battling. These have uh, managed to catch up. You've got Chalky. Then you've got Kiwi and Tux. Tricky Tree now down to ninth. He's following two Mercedes through these little test, uh, twisty section here before the end of the lap. You've got to be careful on the wall on the exit. There's a little bit of a contact there still. Oh, a little bit more contact from Kiwi. As they head down the start finish straight, Trick or Tree is going to be steaming in that helmet. A little bit of a contact there again. A little bit more contact from Tux. These Toyotas are nipping at his heels like two annoying little flies. He managed to get the pass done on Tux though. Now he's going to chase back after Kiwi. If we go back up to the front, Caesar still leaning the way as we head over to uh, nearly 10 minutes in the race now. Pilgrim still trying to chase down first place. Geordie Boy is in third place. Now coming under fire from Aldo. Aldo's going to go on the outside line for the next corner. Can he get the move done on the outside? He tries the cut back. Can he get the crossover? He gets the bare line. Can he get him done for the next corner? He does. He gets the inside line for the next right kink and gets the move done as they head into the left. Drop away corner, as I like to call it. Goes out a little bit wide, a bit close to the edge there, but overall gets the place done. He's now up into back up into third. Jolly Boy now down to fourth. Sheamus in fifth. Liquidion is still in that sixth place, but here comes Dominator. He's trying everything to catch up now as they go through the bank turn. Behind him, Kiwi gets the move done on Chalky. Chalky now dropping down to ninth. Tricky Tree still in tenth, trying to catch up. Close this gap up to the uh, the uh, Mercedes of Chalky in front. Tux closely following behind in 11th. Then you've got full kill at the back at 12th. He's uh, just running his own race, making good time. Fiona also making good time. And Magenta Fez, she's just trying to keep up with her teammate. Back up to the front then. Pilgrim has managed to get the pass on Caesar. He's up into first. Don't forget the two Ferraris are the only ones on soft tyres at the start of the race. So Pilgrim managed to get back up, uh, regain his composure, get back up into that first place. Now he's going to be able to disappear off and hopefully make a gap for himself for the pit stops. Caesar now in second, trying to follow up closely, following behind. He's on the medium tyres. Same with Aldo, he's falling behind now. He's still in third, trying to close that gap up to Caesar. Jordi Boy trying to recover from whatever happened. Didn't quite catch what happened earlier, but. Uh, whether it was an overtake or mistake Sheamus now on the back of him trying to close that gap to Jordi Boy Gwydion in 6 he's just running his own race just trying to manage his tyres until the pit stops Dominator now still in 7th is now getting caught by that Toyota of Kiwi Kiwi's trying everything to catch up to this little uh, to this Merc definitely wouldn't think I would have ever said that a Toyota trying to catch up to a Mercedes but the Toyota is well suited to this track not a lot of uh, straight line uh, straights that you can use the power of the uh, the gruntier cars it's more suited to the uh, the cars that can manage the tyres and it seems that Toyota is pretty OP around here uh, but anyway Tricky Tree now in ninth, trying to catch up to Kiwi Tuck still in that 10th place Chalky now down to 11th, so he must have made a, uh, made a little mistake or uh, just fallen back off pace a little bit. As you can see, full killer in 12th, Fiona in 13th, getting really precariously close to the edge there. She's done that a few times, a little bit of drifting. And then Magenta Fez in 14th, bringing up the rear of the field. Back up to the front as we head on to, uh, nearly on to lap 7 here now. Caesar in second. He's trying to close that gap up still, but now Pilgrim is able to open the gap up to second place. TG Aldo is coming on the back of Caesar though. That BMW 
Sounds really nice around this track. He's able to close the gap. He's now in the slipstream of Caesar. Is he going to be able to mount a pass in the next couple of corners? He's going to try and think of, a, think of a way to get past him. Can he do it, though? Closes up in the corner there. Closes right back onto the, uh, the rear bumper of the, of the uh, Aston Martin there. Can he get him in the next couple of corners? We go all around the left-hander. See them close to the edge there on the exit. He sets the purple sector time. Is he going to try and move on the banked corner or... Uh, the next couple of corners he's on the inside line now gets the inside line now he's going to be on the outside line for the next corner is he going to try and switch back he doesn't, he's still on the outside line now he goes for the crossover but Caesar covers it off well, he's defending Caesar now on the inside line Aldo trying to get the switch back on can he get past him at all status quo as they go for the bank turn now we go on down to the little left, uh, right hairpin. Can he do a late braking maneuver? No, he doesn't. He just follows him round. Sees that has a little bit of a drift there, though. Is that going to allow Aldo to come past? Doesn't as they go through the little kink. Now that gap to Pilgrim is closed. But he's still got first because these two are battling. Caesar's having to defend. Massively to Aldo. Aldo's right behind him. Is he going to try and lunge in this last corner? He tries it. Doesn't quite get there. Can he go around the outside or get the crossover in this final corner? I think he's going to get a good run on the straight. They're side by side as they go down to turn one now. Aldo's up to the rear wheel of his car. Doesn't quite get the move done. Can he get the crossover on the inside of the turn one? They're side by side going up the hill now. Can he get the move done into the next couple of corners? We've been on board for a full lap now with this battle. And he gets the pass done just before the left kink, before the next right turn, which is a little bit of a tricky one. If you get your brakes right, wrong, you need to make sure you don't get wide on the grass here or you will probably spin out. Now we go through the left long hander. And he gets the move done, so Aldo up into second, then Caesar's down to third now. Seamus still in fourth. He's got past Yardy Boy. Yardy, Yardy Boy, sorry, Yardy Boy, not Yardy Boy, Yardy Boy. He's now into fifth place, dominating that sixth place. He's coming under fire from Kiwi, still trying to catch him up, but here's Gwydion. Gwydion's now down to eighth. Tuck's in ninth. Chalky in tenth. Tricky Tree back to 11th place. Uh, I'm not sure if he's been in the pits or not. Uh, I believe he has lap 6, 2 minutes 17, so he's been in the pits then for soft tyres. So he's going to try and get catch, uh, close the gap now to catch up now to 10th uh, place. Uh, full kill is still in that 12th position, followed by Fiona in 13th, Magenta Fez in 14th. Back up to the front then, we've got Pilgrim still in the lead. As we're edging closer to that halfway mark now of 20 minutes. Pilgrim still in the way, he's going to want to... Uh, probably think about coming in soon uh, for the medium tyres uh, just depends if he's on a two stop or a one stop, two stop is pretty good round here uh, if you don't spend too long on the medium tyres TG Aldo still in second place then he's following Pilgrim Caesar still in third Seamus in fourth now he's uh, got Jardy Boy behind him. Jardy Boy tries to bring, uh, outbreak him, but doesn't quite get it done on the inside line there as they come down the straight finish. Now to start lap nine. Kiwi in six, and Dominic has gone in the pits then. So Kiwi now in sixth place. Gwydion now up into seventh because uh, Dominic are pitting. Tucks in eighth place as they head now on the exit of turn one goes a little bit wide there but managed to regain the car choking up into ninth tricky treat in tenth dominate is still in the pits getting some fuel change tires now he's out he comes out in 11th place bit of a gap but he's now on the uh he should be now on the soft tires let's have a little look here we'll run you down the through the field yep so he's on the soft tires so he's going to want to try and close the gap to uh, Tricky Tree in 10th place. Full killer and racing mediums. Likewise with Fiona and Magenta still. Uh, Pilgrim, just under half a tank of fuel now. 
left side is a bit more worn than the right side, but his uh, tyre wear is uh, still pretty good. Odor doing good on those medium tyres. Uh, Caesar has a bit more wear on the uh, the soft tyres than the Ferrari or Pilgrim. But uh, he come in the pit then, apparently, he says. Uh, I don't think he started on... The, oh yeah, he started on the soft tyres as well, sorry. Uh, Seamus, he's in fourth place still, doing good on his tyres and on the fuel wear. Likewise with Jordi by and Kiwi. Kiwi's doing exceptionally well. Look at those, that the front tyres, hardly anywhere on the front tyres. Tell you the uh, the Toyotas are very OP with the track with the tire wear. It manages the tires very well. Goody on decent tire wear there. He's on the medium tires still. Same with Tux. He's got good tire wear on the front. A little bit uh, more on the rear. As we see Pilgrim now going to the pits. He's coming off the soft tire, so he's going to want to come in. Caesar's pulse up it, and he's coming on to, into the pit stop as well. As we're nearly. A minute away from the, uh, from the 20 minute mark. So let's see where these two come out. Chalky in 7th. He goes through. We have to see. Tricky Tree in ninth place. Is he? Yep, he's come out behind Pilgrim. So Pilgrim's up into 8th. Uh, down to 8th, sorry. And he's now on the medium tyres. But Tricky Tree's on the soft tyres. He's going to try and want to mount a charge onto the back of this Pilgrim. Um, and dispatch him. Caesar now down to 10th after that pit stop. He's on the medium tyres. Dominator after coming into the pits. He's now up into 11th. As we head back up to the top. Oh, there's been a bit of a uh, little accident there. Let's see what happened there. Someone's going slow. Let's ride on board here. So, Joy the Boy's following slow. Seamus, a little bit of a contact there. Gets on the grass. Oh, when he loses the back end, spins across the track. Yellow flags are out. Slow Seamus trying to regain the car. Gets the car regained there. Here comes Chalky and... Chalky and Tricky Tree through. And also Pilgrim. And that's put Slow Seamus and Jordy uh, Boy to 8th and 9th now. Tricky Tree now up into 7th uh, place because of that. Which is going to be good because he's on the soft tyres. He's trying to regain all the combos he can. Trying to get all the places. Move through the field. Now that everyone's mostly on the medium tyres. Joke is still on the medium tyres. He's doing pretty well from the race wear. But, uh, from the uh, tyre wear, sorry. But he's probably going to be one coming in the pit soon. Tricky Tree now up into 6th place. Now he's on the back of Pilgrim. Can he get past him? He's gone on the outside line for the next corner. Can he get the braking done into the next corner? He doesn't. Can he get the switch back though? Because Pilgrim loses it. Surely Tricky Tree. Yep, he goes on the inside, gets the move done. But here comes Pilgrim again. Now he's on the outside line. Can he get a move done? He's touching his back quarter panel. But Tricky Tree gets up into fifth place then. Can Pilgrim come back to him? I don't think he's going to be able to. Tricky Tree should just. Uh, pull away from now in the corners we've been on the soft tyres as they go <coughs> excuse me as they go through the start finish straight now now Tricky Tree's coming past Gwydion up into fourth I uh, just need a drink hold on So they go through the start finish straight through the first turn then Tricky Tree now up into fourth. Aldo now is up into first because of uh, Pilgrim pitting and Caesar. So he's up in first, just manages in medium tyres. He's got quite a sizable gap now to second place. Kiwi in second. He's still in the medium tyres, still doing good on the way. He's followed by his teammate Tux in third. But tr here comes Tricky Tree on those soft tyres. He's now up into fourth, chasing down the uh, Toyota of Tux. Can he get past him in the next couple of corners? Let's actually ride on board with him. Gets the move done on the inside there. Can we see Tricky? Yep, yeah, gets past Tux there. So Tricky Tree now up into third. But here comes Tux. Looks on the inside. Doesn't quite do it. Now can Tricky Tree now gain his, uh, regain momentum. Forget about fourth place. 
and focus his eyes now onto second place and catch up. See the windscreen wipers there going. Now here comes uh, Pilgrim on Tux. Can Pilgrim get the inside line? He's going to have the braking momentum. Gets there. There's a bit of contact on the rear court panel there. Doesn't phase him too much though. Now Pilgrim back up into fourth place. Tux in fifth place now. Gwydion now in sixth. Then it's Chalky in seventh trying to chase down Gwydion. Uh, these two boys haven't pitted either yet. So they're going to want to be uh, probably pitting in the next couple laps. Still good on fuel, but the front tyres are being killed at the minute. Are they going to pit this time? As they head through the last corner now. Gwydion goes through, he doesn't pit. Chalky doesn't pit either. Jordi Boy now coming through, he's on the medium tyres still and he's suffering. His teammate who's pitted is right behind him, he's on fresh mediums. Dominator still in 10th. He uh, was looking like he was catching up. Might have got in caught in someone else's mistake slow Seamus down to 11th so he must have had a little mistake somewhere else or got caught up in uh, other people's uh, mistakes 12th full killer has been in the pits he's now on the soft tyres still in 12th place Magenta Fez and uh, Magenta Fez still on the mediums then she hasn't pitted but Fiona's pitted she's on the soft tyres uh, they have been lapped unfortunately now or about to be lapped sorry uh, but we go back up to the front now. Uh, Aldo still leading the way in first place. Got a really sizable gap now. Still looking good on the tyre wear and fuel. Uh, the front tyres are wearing though, down now though. So he's probably going to think about coming in the pit soon. As we head now to 25 minute mark. So not a long left in this first race then. In this features race sorry. Uh, Kiwi still in second on those main tyres. Still doing good on the tyre wear. Got about a quarter, just under a quarter of a tank left. But here comes Tricky Tree. He's trying to catch up Kiwi now. He may be going for a two stop on these tyres. Uh, looking at the tyres and the fuel. It's probably going to be uh, coming in the pits again for a fresh set of, fresh set of soft tyres and some fuel. Pilgrim now doing a good job in fourth place. He's got just over half tank fuel left, so enough should be enough fuel to the end of the race. Tuck's in 5th place, he still hasn't pitted yet, he's still on the medium tyres. Uh, pretty much same same tyre wear and fuel wear as his teammate in 2nd place. Chalky now up into 6th place, he's still on the medium tyres from the start then as well, he hasn't pitted yet. Will he pit this time? Same with Gwydion, he's on the same, pretty much same uh, as Chalky, but he doesn't pit either. Caesar's managed to get past his teammate as we see Jordi uh, by going to the pits then he's going to go for some fuel and soft tyres. Here comes Dominator, he's gone through, he's on the soft tyres, uh, pretty do it wearing very well on the soft tyres there, he's fueled to the end of the race. Seamus likewise, he's fueled to the end of the race, pretty good uh, wear on the soft tyres, uh, it's been a couple of laps since he pitted so he's doing well. Jordi Boy comes back out at 11th, he's now on the race in mediums. Full career in 12th. We've got Fiona who's got a full tank of fuel. Racing softs. Magenta Fez has just been in the pit. She's got f uh, just a uh, half a quarter uh, done on her tyres. Sorry about the pause, folks. I had a uh, very important phone call. So anyway, we get back to the action. Aldo's still in first now, but he's very low on the fuel. So he's probably going to be pitting this in at the end of this lap then. Kiwi second, he's got a bit more fuel, uh, but he's probably thinking about coming to the pits then because we've only just got about 14 minutes left in this race. Tricky Tree, he's in third, he should be coming, he's now red on the fuel, so he should be coming uh, in any time soon. Uh, he's just passed one of the Mustangs uh, to lap them. Uh, Pilgrim, he's still in fourth, doing well to the end of the race now. Uh, so it just depends of uh, where the others come out after their, after their pit stops. Um, depends where he's going to finish. Tuck's in fifth place. He's doing well on his fuel and tyres. Just got under a quarter of a tank left to go. Chalky, he's in sixth place. He still needs to pit. He's probably going to pit on this lap or maybe the next one, uh, depending on fuel. Gwydion still needs to pit. 
look at the front tyres now. The front left is nearly halfway wired. There's Aldo into the pits, so he goes into the pits now. Caesar, he's coming through on the eighth, so he should be going up a few places after the uh, guys in front of him make their pit stops. Likewise with Dominator. Sheamus is going to be close where the others come out for him. Uh, Jordi Boy is a bit behind now. Uh, Fulco in 12th, Fiona in 13th, Magenta Fez in 14th as we see people come into the pits now. Pilgrim comes out in first place, Aldo is in second, he's on the fresh soft set of soft tyres. Fuel to the end of the race, let's see if he can catch up Pilgrim. Season now up into third place, goes a bit wide on the grass there. But he's in good position for a, uh, a decent finishing uh, grid position then. Dominator now into fourth, Tricky Tree now down to fifth. Fresh set of soft tyres, fuel to the end of the race. Let's go. Kiwi, likewise, he's been in the pits as well. He's got fresh set of soft tyres and fuel. Sheamus now up into seventh. Going round, trying to round the outside of Kiwi. But Kiwi gets the uh, gets the better exit there with the, uh, the fresh tyres. Tux has been in the pits. He's got fresh uh, softs as well. So has Gwydion, he's now into ninth place, followed by Joy de Boy, he's been able to catch up a little bit. Chalky now down into 11th. Ooh, Chalky. Chalky was on the racing mediums, he's gone for another set of racing mediums. Uh, this could mean zero points for him if he doesn't pit again for soft tyres, you've got to use both sets of tyres for the race. So we'll have to see what happens there. Full killer has been into the wall some way, he's got damage on the front. Fiona's in 13th and Magenta Fez in 14th. So back up to the front then. Oh, there's a little uh, battle then going between Aldo and Pilgrim. Aldo's trying to get the uh, the lead off of Pilgrim. Pilgrim's holding on to that lead, trying to defend as best as he can, defending for his life. But Aldo's on the better tyres. He should be able to get past uh, Pilgrim uh, on the soft tyres. Pilgrim now being a little bit slidey. Let's see if uh, Aldo can get the switch back. Does he get the inside line for turn one? Can he get a late breaking move? He doesn't. He follows Pilgrim round the corner. He's going to try and get better exit, leaning into the next corner. Can he get past him at all? Aldo following him up now in his slipstream. Is he going to try and get an overtake into the uh, the next? Uh, the corner after this, the hairpin, he's on the outside line now. Can he that get the crossover? You know that the uh, Pilgrim is going to suffer on those medium tyres. He gets the better exit and gets the... He's still a long time though. And gets the pass done into the next left-hander then. So, Aldo back up into first place from the pit stop. Sets a purple sector there. Pilgrim down to second now on those medium tyres. He's going to try and want to stick as best as he can to the back of uh, Aldo's BMW. Caesar still in third place, but he's getting caught slightly by Dominator and Tricky Tree, who's in fourth and fifth. They're on the soft tyres still. Uh, Tricky Tree's actually got uh, fresher uh, soft tyres than uh, Dominator does, so hopefully uh, Tricky Tree should be able to get past Dominator here. Uh, Kiwi. He's in 6th place, he's going to try and get back on the back of this battle as well for 4th and 5th place. There's Sheamus, he's in the Ferrari, he's recovering after that early contact with uh, Geordie Boy. Tux is in 8th place, he's trying to get onto the back of Slow Sheamus now, trying to catch up to this pack as he goes through, uh, through the two Mustangs there. Oh, one of the Mustangs goes wide there, unfortunate. Gwydion now into ninth place. And Jordi Boy in 10th place. Going through the right hand uh, uh, bank turn. And he's followed by uh, Choke. A little bit of a gap there. But Choke is doing his best to catch up uh, to the back of Jordi Boy. But Choke is on the medium tyres again. Uh, there will be an investigation after the race. Whether he did go on the soft tyres or not. But he started on medium tyres. Went into the pits. Come out on the medium tyres. So unless he pits again to, for the soft tyres, uh, that's going to mean, unfortunately, zero points. So Full Killer in 12th. He's running his own race.
good racecraft from uh, from him this time. Uh, I don't think I've seen him add a lot of spins this time. Uh, so, you know, great race for sticking it out. It's not easy uh, sticking it out when you're at the back of the pack, not racing with anybody uh, for 40 minutes. Uh, likewise with Fiona and the Magenta Fez, uh, she just recovering from uh, the first turn there. But likewise, great job to these two uh, two ladies here in the Mustangs. Like I say, it's not easy sticking it out for 40 minutes when you're running at the back of the pack, not driving them against anybody. You're being lapped by everybody, but you know, great job to them. Oh, as we see, Jordy Boy, I think it was Jordy Boy. Yeah, Jordy Boy loses it then. Let's see what happened to him. As a ride on board then. So he's going for the next turn. He's on the soft tyres. Gets on the accelerator too much. Oh, just gets on the outside. Gets on that grass I was talking about earlier. And you, you just bounce spin on that grass. That's very unfortunate for him. For him. Chalky goes past then. In 10th place. Very unfortunate for Jordy Boy there. So as we head back up to the front, uh, Aldo now has got the fastest lap of a 201.5. He's setting good sector times. Now being able to open a little bit of a gap to uh, Pilgrim, who's in second place. Pilgrim, nine second. He's running his own race, just trying to get to the end of the race on the medium tyres. Caesar, he's in third place. Likewise, but now he's coming under fire from Tricky Tree. Tricky Tree is on those soft tyres. He's going to try and want to dispatch Caesar as fast as possible. He's now on the outside line for the next little left kink. Doesn't quite get it. Does he get the crossover? He does, but here comes Kiwi in that Toyota Super. Uh, no, sorry, uh, Toyota 86. Absolute superb pass by Kiwi. Let's go on board for that move. He goes for the middle of them. Look at this move. Absolutely superb driving from Kiwi there. Just goes through the middle of them. Threads the needle through the middle. Now he's on the outside for this corner though. Is he going to be able to stick the move? Here comes Tricky Tree past Caesar as well. So Caesar lost two spots in that little move there. And behind him he's got Dominator. Great move by Kiwi there. Tricky Tree now follows him through and he's into fourth place. Caesar still uh, down, down to fifth now, sorry. And Dominator in the sixth place. He's going to try and get past uh, Caesar as well now. Shame is still in that seventh spot. He's now slightly catching up to this uh, this pack for the uh, third and fourth place up front. Tux, he's now uh, in eighth place. Uh, he's trying to catch up to uh, Sheamus as well on those soft tyres. Going on down to ninth. Chalky in tenth. He's... Uh, just currently going through one of the Mustangs. But he's got Geordie Boy catching him up after that mistake. Geordie Boy's on the soft tyres. Can he get past uh, Chalky for the top ten? And then we've got the uh, the current lap cars at the rear of the field. We've got Full Killer in 12th place. Fiona in 13th. And Magenta Fez down in 14th. As we're heading now closely to 35 minutes, there's only 5 minutes left in this race. TJ Aldo still leaning the way. He's got a pretty sizable gap now to uh, to Pilgrim as we get a yellow flag for a car spinning. Who just spun? Let's have a look. Who, who was the one who spun? It was Full Killer, unfortunately for Full Killer. As we head back up to the front now. Aldo still in the way from Pilgrim. Pilgrim trying to catch up to him, but he's just got to survive to the end of the race now, be on the medium tyres. Uh, Aldo had the super uh, strategy, one stop. Soft tyres, then medium. The BMW really good on its tyres there then. Kiwi in third place. He's trying to defend from Tricky Tree. Tricky Tree's trying everything to get past Kiwi here now. So let's see what happens between this battle. Can he get any move done at all in the first few corners? Doesn't look like he can get him on the run to up to the uh, up the straight to the next corner. This next corner, a little left kink. You've got to be careful though not to run too wide on the exit. Set yourself up for the next corner. Kiwi then goes defensive then. Defends against Tricky Tree, trying to get inside line from him. 
trick or treat, trying everything, trying to get past Kiwi now. As we're hedging closer and closer to the end of the race. So tricky tree in that fourth place still. Caesar in fifth. He's now trying to regain just regain composure and, and survive until the end of the race. But here comes Slow Seamus. He's closing the gap slowly to the back of Caesar. Likewise with Tux. Tux now into seventh place. Goody on in eighth place. Jordy Boy now in ninth, followed by Dominate. Dominate has had a uh, Dominate has had a little uh, issue somewhere. He was up the uh, order, I think, I believe in sixth place, but he must have had a spin somewhere. So he's now down into tenth. Chalky eleventh. Full killer in twelfth still. Then it's thirteenth. It's Fiona and Magenta Fez is in fourteenth. Back up to the front then as we come round the final corners to complete lap 18 of the race. This race should be about uh, 20 laps. Comes across the line with a 201.0. His fastest time is a 201.06 uh, now. Uh, still got that a really sizable gap now to the second place of Pilgrim. But here comes Kiwi and Tricky Tree. They're catching up on Pilgrim now. Are they going to be able to mount a charge in the last few laps now uh, to get caught up to the back of uh, Pilgrim and possibly get second or third? It's amazing that a, uh, a, Toyota, a little Toyota car is leading the way from a BMW and catching a Ferrari. But this is the... Uh, this is the best part. Obviously, we're doing uh, Group 4 machinery in this race. It will be Group 3 next time as we uh, head on to uh, Nürburgring. Uh, Nürburgring GP for the Round 3 of the uh, the championship. But uh, they're all doing so, so far so well. As they head now into the right-hander, leading to the little right kink before the drop-away left hairpin. Kiwi still leading the way from Tricky Tree. We we'll go back up to the front. Aldo still leading the way from Pilgrim. Very sizable gap now. Uh, Pilgrim very low on, on fuel, so I'm hoping it, I've been just hoping that there's only one more lap to go. Uh, so Kiwi in third place still as they go for the bank right hander. Tricky Tree in fourth. Caesar now is still in fifth. Sheamus up into sixth because of Dominator having a little moment. So he's leading the way, he's trying to catch up to the back of Caesar as well. He can't, oh, he runs wide on the grass, smacks the barrier. He showed the goal and he goes on the other grass on the exit. Very unfortunate for Sheamus there. Costly mistake there. And hopefully he's not got no damage, but the soft tyres are being killed at the front as well. So Tuck's back up into six now as he goes through because of Sheamus' little off into the cut in the grass there. Gwydion in eighth place. He's doing a good job. Can he uh, mount any charge onto the back of uh, Sheamus? He's got better tyre wear. So let's see what happens on the last lap. But some of the drivers aren't going to make the last lap. As we head up to the front, it's going to be close for these guys. Caesar's going to make it through. Tux does he make... Right, Tux finishes in six. He's the first finish to finish. Slow Sheamus, he finishes in seven. Skibidion comes across the line in eighth place. Jordi Bay is going to come across the line, a couple of few uh, last few corners, sorry, to finish in ninth place. Chalky, he comes across the line to finish in tenth, but his finishing position uh, may be hindered by the fact that he didn't take both tyres. Dominator in eleventh place, he finishes. Full killer's already finished. Fiona comes across the line in thirteenth. And Magenta Fez is going to finish in 14th. But back up to the front. Aldo still leading the way from second place. Pilgrim now in second place. He's slowly coming under fire from Kiwi in that third place. Can Kiwi catch up to him? Can Kiwi make a move in the last few corners here? On the final lap. Can he get third place? Uh, second place, sorry. He goes for the inside line. Ferrari washes out wide. He gets the pass done. Pilgrim now down to third. Can Tricky Tree get up to the uh, up to Pilgrim, or is he managing fuel? Can he do anything about Pilgrim, or is he going to have to settle for fourth? 
as we come across the last few corners now back up to the front Aldor coming across the line he's going to finish in first great showing from uh, from the BMW driver great strategy he finishes the race in first Kiwi's coming around, around the last few corners now he's going to come across the line and he's going to finish in second if he can manage to defend from Pilgrim gets through those last few corners it's going to be Kiwi finishing second Pilgrim in third it's close to the line. Tricky Tree finishes in fourth. And Caesar coming crowd through the last few corners now. Had a bit of a wild first lap. Got the strategy. Managed to get a top five posi finishing position. And he's going to finish the line in fifth place. Absolute great racing from the Lee Free uh, guys and girls there. That's all for me today. Uh, I will have the sprint race out hopefully shortly for you guys. Uh, so until then, I'm Crazy Brit. See you later.